In this video, I want to show you how to download and install Zorin OS on your PC or on your laptop. First, we need to go to the Zorin OS website, open your web browser, and go to zorinos.com. Click on download. You'll notice that you have four versions of Zorin OS, Ultimate, Core, Lite, and Education. Lite is for laptops or PCs that are old and that they are 32-bit and they don't have too much memory. So basically it is for non-performant PCs. Ultimate is a paid version, which is now at the time of making this video, it is at $39, as you see here. So you have the core and the education that are 64-bit and they are free versions. Let me click on compare editions to show you the difference. So basically the education has everything that the ultimate has, but it doesn't have some applications and some games. And also it doesn't have support from the Zorin OS team. And this is the version that I will be downloading. So the education version, now it is 15.2. It might be higher when you see this video. The first step to do is to click on download. Feel free to sign up to the newsletter. Here I'm gonna skip this step. So it took me to the education download page. You have education and education light. I'm gonna click on download for the education full version, 64 bit. And the download will start. It's a pretty big download. It's 4.2 gigabytes. So depending on your internet speed, it might take somewhere from 10 to 20 minutes maybe to download. So I'm gonna wait for it to download. I'm gonna pause this video and come back when the download finishes. After the download of Zorin OS finishes, you need to download Balena Etcher so that you can copy the Zorin OS to a USB key. So you need Balena Etcher first and then you need a USB key that is eight gigabyte or more. Let's start with Balena Etcher. Go to balena.io, hover over more products and click on Balena Etcher. And here I have Windows 10, so the version selected is the one that I need to download. Click on it to download it. It should download very fast. It's a small file, only 128 megabyte. When the file finishes downloading, click on open file and click I agree to install Balena Etcher. And as you saw, after Balena Etcher installs, it runs directly. Keep it open. Here you need to select the Zorin OS image that you downloaded. So click on flash from file. Go to the folder where you downloaded Zorin OS, select it, click open, select target, click on it, and here make sure that you are selecting the USB key that you want to erase. You can identify it by its name or by its size. It's very important to select the correct one because everything will be deleted on this USB key. So here I have this 8 gigabyte Kingston Data Traveler 3.0 USB device. I'm gonna select it and click on select one and then click on flash. And the operation should not take more than 10 minutes. So I'm gonna pause this video and come back when the flashing finishes. Now that the flashing finished, I'm gonna close the program and I'm gonna switch to an external camera to show you how to install Zorin OS. To install Zorin onto your laptop, insert the USB key that you prepared in the laptop and turn on your laptop. While the laptop is turning on, press F12. This is a Dell laptop, so the hot key is F12 to choose your boot device. For your laptop, it might be different. You can check in the description below for a list of hotkeys for popular laptops. So here I'm gonna choose USB storage device. 
to start from the Zorin installation USB. Hit enter. And here you have these options. The first one is to install Zorin or try it like a normal startup. The second one, in case you have a problem with your graphic cards, you can choose safe graphics. So it will start the PC in VGA mode. And the third one is for NVIDIA drivers. So here I'm going to choose the first one, which is a normal startup. So hit enter when you choose it. And the laptop will start Zorin OS. Now it is starting it from the USB key. So when Zorin OS starts from the USB key, you have two options. The first one is to try Zorin OS from the USB key as a live running operating system or to install Zorin OS. On the left side here, you can choose your language. I'm going to keep it English for me and I'm going to click on install Zorin OS. Also here, it's asking me about the keyboard layout. So I have it English US. I'm going to keep it as it is. Click on continue. Here it's asking me to connect to the network. I'm not going to connect to the network at this stage. So I'm going to click continue. And as you see, because I didn't connect to the network, the download updates is dimmed. So I cannot select or deselect it. And why I did this, it's because I tried it two times before with connection to the network and it didn't work. Well, upon installation and upon restart after installation, it just froze. So I tried it with this option and it worked. So I'm going to do this now and I'm going to apply the updates later. So click on continue. On the installation type screen, you have many options. The first one is if the installation program finds another operating system, it will ask you to install Zorin OS alongside the other operating system. Here, as you see, it detected that Zorin OS was installed already. So this is a failed installation I was telling you about before. And this is to erase everything and install a fresh copy of Zorin OS. I'm going to select erase everything. Careful here, because if you have data that you want on your hard disk, it will be completely wiped. So make sure you are using a hard disk and the laptop that you don't need. So select erase everything on the disk and click install now. And here it is giving you the warning I was just telling you about that all the data on the hard disk will be destroyed. So if you are sure, click on continue. Select your time zone and then click on continue. Here you need to put some information. I'm going to put knowledge as my name. And the computer name, I'm just going to put knowledge PC. And the username, I'm going to leave it by default. And the password, I'm going to put my password. Of course, feel free to choose your own password. And I'm going to keep the require my password to login checked. And you click continue. And here it started the installation. So I will be now accelerating the video until the installation finishes. And I'll resume the video when the installation finishes. When the installation finishes, you'll get this message, installation complete. Click on restart now. You will be prompted, as you see here, to remove the media installation and then press enter. This is what I'm going to do. So I'm removing the USB key and I'm pressing enter. And now Zorin OS started from the laptop's hard drive, as you see. I'm going to log in with the user I created. So put the password. And then click on sign in. When you first sign in, you need to connect it to the internet. So click here and then click settings. And under visible networks, choose your network. And put the password. And click on connect. So you see it is connected now. We can close it. 
Let's try the internet. This is Firefox that comes pre-installed in Zorin OS. Let me go to my website. And as you see, the internet is working. Let me check the sound. And the sound is working too. So that was the installation of Zorin OS. If you think this video might help others, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching.